Hey Woodburner fans, Reese Toscana here with another video. Today we're going to be looking at the Rokal Born wood burning stove. Let's fire it up. This is a fairly unusual stove. Three sided, triangular shaped, and it has three large opening doors. Each door has a glass window on it. Each door is effectively the side and it measures 90 centimeters. So we've got three really large opening doors uh, allowing 360 panoramic views all the way around the fire. The Bourne is available in two versions. We have the central version that sits on a pedestal foot. We also have the suspended version that can hang from the ceiling with a special fixing piece. Okay, let's talk output. So the Rokal Bourne has a nominal output of 14 kilowatts, but it has an operating range between nine and a half and 16 and a half. And what that means is that Rokal have actually tested the Bourne uh, at both nine and a half kilowatts and at 16 and a half kilowatts. And at those ranges, at those extremes, uh, the stove burns correctly and efficiently. So what that means is in order to achieve the higher output, you'll put more logs on per hour. Uh, to achieve the lower output, you use less wood per hour. So the Rokal Born has a 75% net efficiency, which considering this stove is predominantly glass um, and has no means of tertiary air coming into it, uh, is actually really high. Um, and the guys at Rokal have worked really hard to get this stove uh, as clean burning as it can. So not only does that glass stay clean when it's burning, um, but it actually burns cleanly as well and has a high efficiency. Okay, just gonna hit pause real quick on the Rokal board. If you're enjoying this video, please give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and tap that bell notification so that you know next time we post a video, it comes straight through to you. Okay, let's continue with the board. So price-wise, the Rokal Born starts at four and a half thousand. Um, now for a stove of this style, um, a central stove with glass on all sides, four and a half thousand is actually a pretty good price. Um, now obviously that price is subject to change and that's uh, the price as of right now when we're recording this video in 2021. Um, but for a central stove of that size, yeah, 4,500 is pretty good price really you look at what else is available. And when you look at the suspended model, uh, which is only about an extra 150, 200 pounds, that's a really good price. There are very few suspended stoves on the market available in the UK right now for less than seven grand. So uh, sub five grand for a suspended stove, yeah, winner every day. Something obviously keeping in mind in regards to the price, those prices are starting from prices. A lot of the Brocal models are bespoke and with custom flues and ceiling crests and, uh, and different parts that are available to suit your requirements. They're very much guideline prices. Uh, best thing to speak to a dealer, get a survey done, and they'll be able to give you an exact price on uh, what the Bourne would cost to be uh, supplied and obviously fitted. The Born has an ash pan uh, built underneath it, a triangular wedge shape that, uh, that echoes the shape of the fire. Uh, there's actually a clever locking mechanism on the Born uh, ash pan, so um, you can't over fire it. The other thing you have in the front side, and there is a front to the Born, although it is equal on all three sides. Uh, the front is designated as the side that has the ash pan access, and also the side with the air controls. So while all three doors do open and you can load from all three sides, only one side has the air controls. You've got your primary and your secondary air supplies. You'll see in the center of the Bourne, we've got a, again, triangular shaped grate um, and all of your ash can be uh, brushed down through that grate into the pan and then obviously emptied externally, which is nice. Okay. Let's talk about the pros. So some of the things that I really like about the Bourne, uh, first of all, is the shape. You can't get away from it. A triangular stove is unique. There are very few stoves available in the UK on the market right now that are this shaped. Um, I think also the fact that it's glass on all three sides and that all three doors open uh, at the same time as well is again, another really big selling point for this fire. You're gonna get 
unusual views. You can put it into the center of a room. You can sort of push it more towards uh, an edge or into towards a uh, corner. If you've got a, a room that has sort of large bifolding doors or glass sort of patio doors, you can push it more into that corner setting um, so that the fire, when you open those doors, you almost have your fire inside outside. Uh, so there's some real good possibilities available with the board. Talking of, um, even though it is a triangular design, you'll notice that the corners are actually curved um, and have sort of like a curve capping around them. Again, little soft details like that just break up those straight lines uh, and just make it a lot more appealing. One of the other things that I think that the Bourne has and the wider Rocal range really do a great job of is the pedestal foot versions. Um, where the flue pipe that's included with the stove um, lines up perfectly with the central foot. So it almost looks like there is a tube running right the way through the center of the stove. No matter which way you look at it, those lines are perfectly in line. Um, and it really just sort of those little attention to detail things, that's the sort of thing that comes from owning a Rocal stove. And especially with this one on the Bourne, um, where you can walk around it on all three sides and you get that really nice look all the way around. Uh, the other thing with the foot is that it's hollow and underneath the stove in the center you have an external air feed so if you wanted to you could bring all of the combustion air required for this stove in from outside under the floor and up into the stove connected to that uh, feed now if it's not possible which in fairness you know in a in the middle of a room it's not always easy to get an air supply to the uh, fire you can have some knockout panels made uh, in the foot which allow you then to pull the combustion air from the room rather than from uh, directly outside. Moving on then to the flue, and you'll note that uh, the Bourne flue pipe uh, that is included with the stove is uh, bolted directly onto the stove. Uh, in doing so, uh, Rocal then maintain a sleek look uh, running right down from the pipe across onto the top of the stove um, so there's no change in colour, there's no change in material, everything matches and it's all neat and tidy. It is possible um, to cut that length of pipe down and you get around about two metres included with the stove. If you don't need that much or you've got a shorter room height um, or you need to convert to an insulated double um, skin pipe like a twimble, then you can cut that pipe down and convert into a twin flue pipe uh, to then run up to your ceiling and then through any combustible ceilings uh, that you might have. If you are using the suspended version of the Bourne, um, Rocal can actually manufacture a bespoke ceiling crest um, specific to the room requirements. So is the Rocal Bourne the stove for you? Well, we've covered a lot of things in this video. You've got a lot of factors to consider. The output of the stove, is that gonna to be too big for your room? Um, is the uh, position of getting the flue up in the middle of the room gonna cause a problem? Are you looking at the uh, freestanding version with perhaps the external air coming in, or perhaps the, the uh, suspended version coming down from the ceiling? Um, if you want to talk it through with a Rocal dealer, we'll post a link in the description to the website uh, where you'll be able to go on and find your nearest Rocal dealer who will then be able to advise you a little bit more on whether the Bourne is right for you. That wraps up uh, this review of the Rocal Bourne. I hope you've enjoyed uh, this, this little tour of the stove. Um, if you did, please give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button along with the bell to be notified the next time we post a video. I've been Reese Toscani, thanks very much for watching.